Mic check, mic check. It's Tony and Chelsea live. This week we have special guests. Toby and Christina drove down from uh, Vermont to hang out with us. And we did a fast food challenge where we competed against each other. And we'll have you guys pick the winner live during the show. <gasps> Anybody watching the live broadcast? Chelsea. Tell them who brings us to them. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the easiest way to create a beautiful website, blog, or online store for you and your ideas. Squarespace features an elegant interface, beautiful templates, and incredible 24-7 customer support. So you can try Squarespace today at squarespace.com. And if you slash use, Tony. Slash Tony. And if you use the coupon code portfolio, you'll get 10% off your entire purchase. And that's a pretty good deal. Thanks, Squarespace, for sponsoring us. If you have a Squarespace portfolio, we can take a look at it live during the show. Go to sdp.io slash link and send us the website, and we'll, we'll all review it. So, Toby and Christina, you can see them at Fo uh, Camera Wreck Toby. Camera Wreck Toby. Um, on YouTube, and they also have a website, and I am a big fan of them. They have great content, and they're great people. So I just wanted to plug their, right, their Lightroom tutorials. And you can go to uh, photorec.tv slash shop. They have a really good deal there. And you should check that out. I'm so glad you're a fan of them, because otherwise it would just be like really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not, <laughs> not next to us. Not really hot on them, but they're here. <laughs> thank you, Chelsea. Really excited to be here. Yes, thank you so much for having us. Well, thanks for coming down. There's there's two ways you can talk to the four of us during the live show. You can write a comment, and our screener Siobhan out in Philly will read it to us if she decides that your comment is entertaining. Uh, or you can use hashtag TC Live on Twitter, and our producer Justin, who's working furiously <laughs> under crazy conditions to make everything work. You can put it on the screen. Today's a rough technical day. We have six microphones going, like extra cameras, and whew, And that was like all on top of a full day of shooting yep. uh, the food stuff. Yes. So, Justin, you know, hats off to you. He's Justin, yes. Fantastic. He's hired. Yeah. Yay, Thanks, Justin. I, we, we definitely got, we're doing like at least six hours of filming today, right? Yeah. Yeah. At, Just yeah. Multi camera stuff, too, complex. Yep. Right? It's been tough. Painting. This week, Weddings. So mm. go to Northrop.photo slash submit and send those to us if you have not already. Right. And did, did we talk about the you know the reason why the theme is Christina is primarily a wedding photographer? Are we good? Yeah. Am I we, ahead? No, I know that's fine. No, I'm <laughs> glad that you mentioned that because I meant to. Okay. You primarily shoot weddings. Yeah, right. we shoot weddings together, and we have for about five years now. Right. Yeah. And, and, and I chose this because I've seen your wedding photos and they're beautiful. Oh, so thanks. I know you'll have some yeah, great you guys, tips. As, especially right. as a team, you're just fantastic. I we didn't prep this at all, but by chance you have like wedding tips you could throw out. Is there something oh, man. that pops to the top of your head? Um, yeah. So just plan really well. Make sure that you. I mean, if somebody is going to shoot a wedding for the first time, I think just being aware of what's going to happen is really key. Mm -hmm. And. Um, yeah, I think that would be my biggest tip. Just okay. planning. planning. Having, yeah. Having a plan and, having an and a backup plan. Yeah. And staying having calm. Backup gear. Yeah. Uh, staying you know, even though things sometimes are happening so fast during the wedding, uh, but getting worked up is not good for the bride and groom. So you stay calm. No okay. Matter what. That's a good tip. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just all about buying the right camera and using the right settings, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> Sony. People do often F2A. compliment your the, camera. Yeah. <laughs> They tell me my camera takes nice pictures. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, Those the people. P on the dial is for professional. Wedding professional. You put it on there, and you're good to go. <laughs> Look at yeah. Toby taking a shot at Ken Rockwell. <laughs> <laughs> is that where that's from? I didn't know. Yeah, that. yeah, that's a Ken Rockwell <laughs> thing. People get really to. mad about that. He makes a decent <laughs> argument in that he's saying you can still use, like, the exposure compensation dial mm. to adjust the exposure or change, like, the mix of aperture to shutter speed. Yeah. It's fine. It yep. works. He also says that he knows that amateurs want to be professional mm -hmm. and that they will probably screw up other modes <laughs> so he's trying to get people just to like slow their roll a little bit mm -hmm. i, don't know I can see that point of view next week is food i chose this topic because today was food and i was really excited about it I had fun. yeah we had a good time shooting yeah, food today and it was, that was shockingly fun. hard i really haven't done like dedicated food shots like chelsea and i took this photo together but you know the chef was there 
doing the styling, the food styling. And today in our challenge, we had to buy a Five Guys burger, which is a mess, and then try to style it ourselves. And that was not something I'd ever done before. It turned out okay. We'll take a look at the pictures in just a minute. A lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll take a look at the pictures right now. Why oh not? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the moment is here. That's right. We're not going to reveal who took which picture, but Toby and I teamed up, and Christina and Chelsea teamed up, and we each went out, bought props, and we had we had 90 minutes to travel, buy everything, buy the burger, and then actually take the shot. Right? Yeah. And, and work, yeah, so the time constraint, we also had a budget constraint, we limited ourselves to $25 worth of props. Yeah, that was, that was hard. In this day and age, folks, $25. Not, <laughs> not going far. very far. So you can choose between two pictures. This is picture number one. You can show that as a close-up, Justin, and uh, let people really study it. That is a burger, ketchup, fries, peanuts, just helping them. Yeah, you really made it, uh, <laughs> making it sound really appetizing. This is shot number two, taken by the other team. It has a burger, a fry, fries, and a beverage. And a beverage. <laughs> oh, we're good at that. You can vote at sdp.io slash food poll. Food so poll. So go there now. Choose wisely. We'll have to come back and reset and show people that. I know we have a few pictures. Let's just up. show them one more time. Okay. Number two. Number one. Number two. This is just like American Idol. <laughs> okay. Yep. Just like American Idol. Food poll. That's right. Okay, let's take a look at some of the like pictures like, that people have already sent in live. <laughs> Saw one there. That was oh. nice. Really nice. <laughs> um, you know, I, I should also introduce, I always thought Justin was about to walk away, but we have this thing here, which is the pallet gear deal. So we could physically use this to adjust the color temperature here, uh, or you could adjust the exposure with this slider. And if you want to turn these dials a whole lot, you could adjust the whites. These need to be faster. Or the blacks. Uh, what is that? Oh, the vibrance. And then this, Chelsea, a button just for you, converts it to black and white. Mm, it's broken. There we go. Black and white color. That's and then that cool. will just go to the next picture. So now that I've totally messed up this person's picture, <laughs> um, what do you guys think about the shot? It's definitely an unconventional composition with something so profound out of focus in the foreground. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Yeah. I think it's great. There are some elements that I would like to just neaten up a bit, like these yes. cords up here. The first thing I saw, yep, yeah, I'd take do. that out. And maybe just a few little things, just because there's so much in the picture, but I, I really like it. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. unusual framing, and I think it works. Yeah. Give that one a pick. <gasps> Whoa, first picture. It's picking. probably not one that the bride and groom would put in their album, but it's, it's, a, it's a fun photo, and as a wedding photographer, I'm often trying to find you know, things that keep me entertained as well as produce yeah. interesting pictures yeah. as well. Yeah, that's a, a really good point in that you're working for somebody. Yes. And people have, most people really do like traditional photos. In my experience, people, when they're talking about you, talking to you before the wedding, they don't want anything traditional. Right. But then when they're ordering prints, but the ones that they print, or they're picking right. their pictures. Yeah, mm -hmm. are the super, the most boring ones. Yeah. Yep. In my opinion. And most boring. <laughs> well, they're the most, most important to them, but they're the right. most. Yeah, just, yeah. They, they'll say, just be really casual. And then after the wedding, they'll be like, you didn't get a picture of Aunt Jim, uh, Uncle Jim and Aunt Sue. Like, yeah. why not? Yeah. They're like, oh, but you said. <laughs> you said you hated them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this actually looks like a candid shot. It does. Black and white shot. Yeah. Exposure and everything looks good to me. I, I, I think it's a nice moment. What do you think? Yeah. I like the, the moment and the emotion. And they, they genuinely look really excited. Uh, so I love that. I... I don't love the harsh sun on them. Yeah. Because her dress is blown out a bit. Yeah. I don't... definitely lost some detail in that. Yeah. But I do like the expressions. I do. Yeah. And maybe I, I would that. even take the picture in a little bit to yeah. focus more on their expressions. Yeah. And I think we have this maybe that little bit of an underspace under the bench on the right, too, that I feel like. Oh, um, yeah. I didn't see that. Uh, pulling my eye in. See if we take a little of that out. But it is. It's really nice. It's these these moments of folks just, you know, uh, bride with her bridesmaids. So you're saying you'd pull it up from this corner as well? I think what you just did was fine. Okay. Yep. And then now, was, was, for me, it's less background and more about Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I might crop halfway, you know, up a half between the knee and the ankle. Yeah, yeah. 
right here. Yeah, and then move yeah. it to, uh, yeah, that, that's perfect. But I know what the photographer is going to say. He's going to say, but you cropped out her the train of her dress, and that was the best part. And I, I know he's thinking that, but I think their expressions are the subject of the photo here, yeah, and it kind of got absolutely. lost. Absolutely. And by cropping in this much, it's very deliberate, whereas we're not just trimming off a bit or you know, yeah. a foot. You know, one thing I've noticed in the time that I've shot is that sometimes I, I understand the desire to turn this into a black and white image because of probably all the contrast and all the color. But sometimes it's better to just leave them in color um, because of, with the black and white, I don't know, I feel like it just, the, the, the focus loses a little bit of, I guess, of its focus, or the subject loses a little bit of its focus because there's so much going on. There's like, you know, that lower left corner area that's really bright and then up in the left corner and then all the individual leaves in the high contrast. So I think mm -hmm. it might be better to just have them, like I think they would stand out much more in just the green of the trees in front of the green. Yes, than the overall texture. Yeah. Because black and white is good for lines and texture. Right. Yeah. What another way to be able to approach this would be if you wanted to shoot black and white, shoot at a little bit of a shallower depth of field. Now the way the photographer originally shot it, they were trying to get all of the dress in focus from down right. on the ground. So they, I can see why they chose, uh, I think it was f4.5. But if you were composing for this shot, you could probably shoot at f3, f3.2, uh, somewhere in that range and blur the background a little. Yeah, but it's a great shot. I it think is. it captures the emotion really well, yeah. which I think is the most important part. Ooh, this, looks like a nice this place. is an awesome place. My first impression is that the colors are pumped up. Yeah, the colors felt me. immediately fake for me. Yeah. My first impression is that that barge or island is intersecting with the bride. Yeah. And I yeah. would like to see a little bit more separation. They could be framed between those stumps and the, and the barge. So that would have had to have been done in camera. Yeah. But I like... The view, and it, but I think it would have given given it more depth too if they had been breaking the horizon line. Yep. Yeah. If you'd just gotten a little lower yeah. when you took the picture, or higher and frame them in between that little spot. Yeah. Either way could have worked really well. Yeah. I love the lines. So it it starts from like down below here in the lower right corner, and then it sort of walks you through the photo. Yeah. Up in kind of a zigzag motion, which I I really like that. I like that too. I think exposure here is really good too, as we got bright yeah. sunlight, but it uh, looks like we still got details in the dress, which is good. Yep. Nice level horizon too. Yes. yes. Yeah. And we say it all the time, just just do your processing and then just back it off like 15, mm -hmm. 20 percent, and that That's would have definitely tip. helped that. Yeah. Nick and Ruth. Oh, but that blue cable. Yeah. That's all I could see right yeah, away. I, I think it's so nice. It's just, you, if you just rotate it a little to the right or just or take some time it and clean it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, this isn't going to look I'm not oh. beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to look great anyway, but what is, why can't I use the mouth? That's fine. Yeah, it, it, I think. For the sake of illustration, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. You'll know what I mean. Yeah, it's certainly workable. Take a little time. It's an interesting topper. It, is it glass, do we think? What, what is the, or yeah, it is actually it seems kind of fingerprinted too, which I imagine could be uh, yeah. a challenge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it might be a little dirty, but yeah, nice the shot. The horizon is also a little bit off, so I might just straighten that. Yeah. You know, the lesson is just think about the background. Check the corners of the yeah, frame, the think about everything in the background, especially with a clear subject like that. It just ended up being distracting. Ooh, I actually like that. Yeah. That does work well. Um, and you shot that at the long end, but if you had a more telephoto lens, you could have stepped back more and zoomed in more, and that would have just made the background smaller. Yeah. And that would have made things just composition a little bit easier. Oh, that's great. I yeah. can't hear Toby at all for some reason. Oh, really? I don't know what's Is your going mic on? on? Okay, but... I'll let you guys continue to talk, and I'll take a look at Toby's mic. Okay. So uh, I really like this. I think the only thing that I have issue with is the white vignette. Yeah, me too. How about now? Otherwise, everything's great. I love the expressions yes. of the women in the background, and the sincere moment is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have any other critique. I think the skin tones might be a little magenta, so maybe just adding like a, like two clicks of, t of green tint to them might make it a little bit more natural, but skin tone's a challenge. Yeah, to get it is right. difficult. But I think it looks nice. Maybe even... Yeah. Did we talk about the vignette? Yeah. We, yes. We decided that's the thing that we don't like about the picture, but yeah. it's nice otherwise. Yeah. 
this is cute. I like his expression. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a little underexposed. It is. So let's try to find some, we got some whites in there and just bring up the shadows a bit. Yeah, that's great. Now we just have more definition in his, in his clothing. Yeah, the, the woman in the background in action keeps taking my attention away. Her? So I don't think that that's something that can be uh, really changed. But, um, but I think that the exposure really improves it. The yeah. increase in exposure really improves it. So we can do some eye check. Sure. Sorry to interrupt things. Yep. All right, let's this go. is example. Uh, if, if folks can hear me, this example is one of those things where, uh, you know, just take, just wait, uh, you know, two seconds longer and take another shot or two as that person in the background passes through the frame. Always kind of keep an eye out for what's going on in the background of your subject. Yeah, the background is just so. as important as the foreground. Yeah. yeah. This is a beautiful picture. <laughs> and Those I, people are so handsome. That's a handsome couple right I there. I was thinking that. Yeah. And the monocle is just. It really adds to, yeah. it matches I, the suit. I love the eyebrows. They're very intense, but very, very cool. Yes. Well kept. Right. Yeah. I give this five stars. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this is nice. Do you want me to grab my wired mic? Yeah, I think your um, mic died. Yeah. I think oh, it might man. have. Right. I've brought my audio first with me. Do you want me to go grab my wired mic? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, yep. and we'll just wire it directly in there. Do you have the XLR? Yep. Yeah, if you have the XLR. Thank you, Toby. Sure. Justin, you might need to grab that longer XLR cable. This is okay. a nice photo. Yep. Yeah. Um, I feel like this skin's a little strange. Is there something blue about it? Yeah. Is it the... There might be some split toning. That looks like maybe there was some split toning. Yeah, I don't think I can undo that. No. Maybe um, by yeah, skin can be really tough, especially if you nah. try to up the contrast a little yeah. bit. You can end up increasing the contrast in the skin, which is always you so they want a lot of texture in skin. Maybe actually, yeah. I like there that. by taking oh. down the saturation, it got rid of the split toning. Perfect. It looks much better. Yeah, I love that. There's so much detail in the dresses. Yeah, and they they kind of match. Yeah, the left, uh, the woman on the left is cut off, kind of. In a oh, weird right at the place. Neck. Yeah. yeah, so she kind of looks like a chicken. Well, <laughs> not that I've seen lots of chickens with their head cut off, but <laughs> that's kind of what I think. I of see what I you see mean. It. Like, it's uh, the yeah. neck is not a really nice place to cut off a picture. Yeah, but don't but, cut at the joints. But the height discrepancy yeah. makes it's it true. difficult. Yeah. yeah, that that is tough. But I still like that you focus on the hands and the dresses. It's Absolutely. Sweet. Wow, this is beautiful. That's great. Come on. I love this. I love the colors and the light. Yeah. Oh, we have a longer table right here. Let's see. Yeah, this this is awesome. There's an interesting effect going on. Right, so like their, the blur faces, of their faces. Yeah, their faces. You can still tell. Are they artificially blurred? I don't know. What is that? They look kind of cut out. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm I wonder how they did out that. What's happening? I don't know why that is. Oh, oh, okay. Huh. I cannot figure. Can you figure out what's no. going no. on there? Oh. Well, but it's still a beautiful picture. Yeah. I'm going to give this five stars in a pick. Wow. I really like it. Yeah. I think my only, if I had any feedback to give, only because I am, I feel like I'm really, really sensitive to this and it's color casts. Um, the the dress, the front of the dress, because the background's so warm, it looks very blue to me. Mm -hmm. So just a quick temperature brush to cancel out that blue uh, so would make a huge difference, I think. Adjustment brush. Yeah. And then I think the temperature's up, and then you can... Oh, yeah. That looks really nice. Good feedback. You can press O, and then you have a mask. I'm not good with a mouse. I usually use a tablet, so... This would be very clumsy. Yeah, and I would do the flowers too and the, the, the bodice as well. Yeah. That's great. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah. That looks really nice. Great feedback. Hmm. All right. Let's go on to our next photo. If we can. What's going on? Here? That might be the. Do you think that's that the, the last, last one? one? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's the last one for now. All right. I have to re import. It's like so, good set. Let's go to 
Tony. Yes. Sorry, I need you for a moment to get to the slideshow because we're done with our pictures. We might be able to. Yeah, we're, we're having level, multiple levels of technical failures. Here, let's see if we can do <laughs> this. Just, just talk really loud. I can do that. <laughs> sorry, no, sorry. Do you know where okay. this folder is? Yeah. They have to re-import yeah. it from somewhere else, so I'm not really sure. Can you, like, re do a sync? Uh, I'll grab that. Okay. Just so everybody knows, we we had two Ouch. mics fail this week, uh, which has never really happened to us before, and then your mic seemed to have failed on the show. We did a mic check beforehand, and you sounded fine, and then at some point it just stopped working, and then yeah, we tried we to have. swap in a Do wired you mic. Is on the wireless mic? No, it's not replaceable. We haven't used that wireless mic much, and now I think we're not going to continue to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you passed mic check and then it yeah. failed at some point shortly thereafter and our efforts to replace it with a wired mic, I don't know, we just weren't getting levels from it. I'll so. lean close to Christina and uh, talk nice and loud. Yeah, I could also Sounds just hold good. my mic Go old yeah. school. You might even just move your mic over to the other side. Yeah. yeah. It's on your, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Sorry about um, everybody's ears. That's so, <laughs> Siobhan, despite all that, uh, what are people in the comments saying? Well, they're mostly annoying, but I have some questions for you. Okay. <laughs> Um, Finn says, first off, hey, other TNC, awesome to have all the T's and the C's in the house. It is Tony awesome. and Chelsea, when you two got married, who did you have take photos? And did you edit the photos or did the photographer? <laughs> we didn't get question. any pictures. None. Well, there's, there's more to the story. We just, we just eloped. Huh. So we grabbed a daughter, but then we didn't invite anybody else. And we just... Neither one, believe it or not, neither one of us like to be the center of attention. We get enough attention. So the whole thing about like a wedding and having people is just <laughs> uncomfortable. Sure, I, I, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to Grand Cayman and I didn't even plan anything. And we were having so much fun that we waited until the last day and that night. And there was mosquitoes everywhere. It was crazy. We didn't get any pictures. It was dark as well. Yeah, we also didn't like pay for a location. We just like. Went found to a, a quiet beach and snuck on there. <laughs> Did you hire a photographer? No, we no, had nothing. There was nobody else there. No. And this was before people put GoPros on their dogs to film their wedding, so that wasn't an option. Uh, no, but people were probably doing that, but yeah, we just <laughs> we didn't just kept do it. it private. So yeah, nice. An update on the poll: picture number one is ahead by, but just by a hair. So, so let's revisit close. for people wow. who have just this tuned is, in. This is really exciting. Okay. We spent today. On a food photography challenge, we had 90 minutes to get props, 90 minutes and 25 bucks to get props and a burger and fries from five guys and try to make it look appetizing. We teamed up, me and Toby, Chelsea and Christina, and we produced these two pictures. This is picture number one, and this is picture number two. And you get to pick who the winner is. So picture number one, picture number two, go to stp.io slash food poll. And let us know what you prefer. We'll check back in on the results in a little bit. Siobhan, you have other questions for us? I'll pull up a portfolio. Oh, uh, Tony, did you also mention, though, that the cameras we were using? Oh, good point. Oh. Like $150 cameras, yes. basically. Yes, not, not the best. In fact, uh, as Christina, as you said, your camera just had like a flower mode and yep. a food mode. <laughs> Yeah, it's firework show mode. And firework yeah. show. I love that it's show, yeah. not just yeah. fireworks. Yeah. Let's go for the whole we show. We can capture the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you guys picked the wrong camera. They they won the the flip of the memory card since none of us had a quarter. <laughs> we flipped the memory card, and they won and got to pick their camera. If we made a mistake, we'll admit it. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 It's it's you know these these cameras are challenging. I'm just glad that the uh, the, the uh, challenge wasn't anything action oriented. The burger wasn't moving. So, <laughs> the, you know, the camera yeah. wasn't too Ours challenging in that respect. <laughs> Our lettuce was moving. <laughs> Your lettuce was moving. Hmm. Not a ringing endorsement for five guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so this is right on the nose. Uh, Gary Askew seems to shoot wedding photography. What do you think nice. of this sort of layout for a portfolio? Yeah, this is cool because it kind of gives, uh, you know, couples a preview of some of the shots that they can expect um, without having to click anything, which I think is great. You know, the more you can provide at a glance without people having to dig for it, I think the better. Yeah. Um, I love, sorry, you just scrolled past it. The gentleman uh, leaning over the lamp. I, I like that shot. Yeah, uh, that's very cool. He's... Oh, you know what? That's a nice shot, but it's so small that I, I didn't yeah, even notice it. You that's know, one of... go ahead. 
Go ahead. Okay. I always complain about the staggered format, and that's why, because it makes your pictures tiny or it makes yep. them all different sizes, which is even more distracting. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. I mean, I think that when designing a portfolio, a photography portfolio in particular, you should try to keep things as simple as possible and to try to highlight your photo, each photo. in each individual photo yeah. as mm -hmm. much as possible. And I don't think that this does that really well. Yeah. But at the same time, this person has such a solid uh, body of work that a lot of the pictures work really well next to one another. To sort of tell a story yeah and so, i think it, it almost feels like it's laid out f over the course of the day because it looks like we start with yeah. some getting ready and prep mm -hmm. pictures and then we ended with some really fun dancing i will say that i, I don't know if you need three ring pictures yeah uh, you know or three dress or pictures. three dresses yeah yeah you could you could narrow it down a, a I little love this picture um, but these are all strong images i do love that too um yeah i would do the same thing and if you are going to put in three dress pictures at least spread them throughout yes, don't yeah, put them right next to each other but i the, there's definitely some pairing down that could be done here and and they that seems to be the the same bride so i wouldn't put those pictures right next to each other yeah great pictures though yeah great uh, work let's see personal work. Oh. okay i think we can't click that it's personal work but it says but it's split into pre-wedding and yeah personal work and then i don't that's huh. that's... Huh. Um, so I don't really like the subcategories here. I would probably just pick the best one or two of the four shoots since these are, are pretty different pictures. And especially since there are four pictures, the thumbnails, I think. Yeah. I, I don't think you need a, um, a watermark on your website either. Do you guys yeah. use watermarks in your pictures? I don't ever watermark my no. pictures. No. Me either. I'm doing everything I can to make my pictures look as good as they can. Not yeah. Right. And I'll say it looks like uh, you've got, you know, some work that you've put up here maybe for other people to access. You don't always have to put it in your menu. I know Squarespace allows you to make pages yeah. uh, that don't show up in your menu, but you can give people the link to. So if you, yeah. you know, uh, photograph this performance, you can mail out that link to everybody, but you don't necessarily have to have it show up. Yeah, I mean, I think that when you're advertising yourself as a photographer of some kind, like if you're trying to specialize in weddings or eat, if that's your goal and you're not doing it yet, I think it's more beneficial to just focus on one thing and really tell people more about that than to kind of just say you're a jack of all trades and show a ton of different work that maybe may not go well together. It just kind of creates confusion and you want people to just look at, you know, one thing at a time. Yeah. What can, uh, how do you help somebody who is trying to figure out what they want to do and, you know, is trying to break into more professional photography and isn't sure if they want to focus on weddings or, you know, or, uh, you know, some dance performance? Well, I don't think that there's any one rule that will cover everybody's situation or address everybody's situation. But I think in the case of Gary, for example, you have Gary, you have enough wedding work that you could just have a wedding website and, and you do advertise yourself as, you know, mm -hmm. a wedding photographer. That's your your main thing. So I think put everything else on a separate website. If somebody requests that, then send them a specific portfolio with those pictures. But just keep your wedding photography in one portfolio and just simplify that. The real question here is what do the three T's stand for? Because we've got triple T weddings. Oh, yeah. Triple Gary? threat. Triple threat. Triple what is tomato? a triple threat? I've heard that term a lot. You dance, what? you sing, you oh. act. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Did you say tomato? tomato. Triple tomato. <laughs> triple tomato. <laughs> triple tomato. <laughs> okay, because we had some good feedback for you. Great, great yep. advice. Guys, uh, let's see what Gary had to say about Squarespace. Squarespace changed my business completely financially and in terms of workflow, made everything amazingly simple and top-notch customer service. Yeah. If you want your own awesome Squarespace portfolio, it's easy. Go to squarespace.com slash Tony, get a 14-day free trial, no credit card required. And then if you decide to sign up, you can get 10% off by using the coupon code portfolio. That also lets them know that mm -hmm. they saw it on this show, which helps them keep paying us, but we don't get any money from it. We just like having a sponsor. Oh, you know, I wanted to add one more thing. Prices. What do you think about putting a pricing page on a website? Do you guys list a price on your portfolio? I, I list my starting price just to give people an idea of yeah. what they can expect. I think that's that doesn't hurt. I've heard, I don't really have any one opinion. That's just what I do. For some people, 
some people don't list any pricing at all mm -hmm. and um, that works for them. I don't know. I think, you know, when I put myself in the shoes of somebody who's shopping for a wedding photographer, I want to see at least a base price. Mm -hmm. Like I want to have an idea of how much of what I'm getting into. So that's 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 what I decided that I would want if I were in their place of that I did that for myself. I agree with that. If I saw great pictures and no price tag, I'd think I can't afford this. Wait, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you're you could be missing out. Or you get a good chuckle if you see terrible pictures and you're like, your prices start at six grand? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can go either way. But, yeah, <laughs> you people get, get anxious chuckle. about money and they don't want to have to call you to ask because they're going to be right. embarrassed if you come back with six grand and they have to say, oh, I only have $500 right. or something. Yeah. yeah. Just give them a starting point, I think. Yeah. Well, we'll take a look at a few more pictures. Um, this picture right. is really small. It is very small. It's also very dark. It's dark, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's underexposed okay. and... And uh, it's definitely not by a wedding photographer. I feel like it's it's from one of the front rows, but still. Mm -hmm. Seems like it, yeah. Yep. Dedicated family member. It also it looks kind of out of focus. Is the are the bride and groom out of focus? Yeah. It, it might be. It's a little. It's hard to tell. It's a little the warm background. too. I'd pull that. Yeah. White balance a little bit towards mm -hmm. the blue. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful church. Yeah, it, it is. is a nice church. The candle was. Oh, were we moving on? <laughs> Sorry, we were. How did, <laughs> How did you feel about the candle? <laughs> the candle is it's is a little distracting, but we can move on. Yeah. So something about the black and white just w like washed out all the skin tones. I think the focus is here. Yeah. Yeah, it almost looks like maybe onboard flash was used, or uh, yeah, I think, I think it's not a bounce flash at least. And yeah. So yeah, the light fades off as you get farther away, and yeah. yeah. And you know, maybe a graduated or, filter from the upper left, uh, upper right corner could help. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see it's it was taking a power shot. Flash. Very similar to this camera here. Hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, again, you know, similar to one of the first pictures we reviewed. It's a cute moment. Oh, that's uh, great. Know. And Chelsea, your crop is fantastic. Yeah. Fixed it. Um, and But also bounce flash. We'll just mm. change everything once you get that worked out. Yeah. Just yeah. use some bounce flash. Uh, now, have you guys ever you ever recommend anybody use when they have a point and shoot with a you know no f external flash options of putting on one of those gizmos or gadgets? You ever tried those that that help an onboard flash bounce? Oh, I have seen them, but I've not ever tried them. I've heard that the cameras just aren't powerful enough. Yeah. To, to give a good bounce. That's mostly experience. my experience. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Not it can help enough. a little if you're in a smaller room and there's you know stuff to bounce it off of, but in most situations, it just doesn't quite do the job. I'll say bounce flash for me is just a huge deal. It's so easy to use and it can make such a difference in your pictures. Um, what I would do instead of I would get an external flash with an optical slave and set the flash on camera really low. So it's just enough to trigger that flash. Yeah. And then you could fire it. You could yeah. hold it in your hand or put it in another corner of the room or whatever. Yeah. This is a great shot. Yeah. A lot of fun. great expression, yeah. lots of action. In My, it. Th this is something I love the expression and the action. But I think those are fake rose petals. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I think that because of the color. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. No, you're right. Know. You're right. I'm not convinced. I don't think they're real. I could petals. go either way. I, I didn't think and about it, the authenticity of the petals at all. I think it's it's fantastic that there's no major intersections. Oh. I think I like it in black and white. I like it in black and white too. Because mm. then you can't tell they're fake. The reason why I think they're fake is because they're like an orangey red rather than yeah. a deep rose red. You've also got like the lamp in the background and, and different color temperatures in the foreground and the background. So I think making it black and white just kind of takes away all of that and yes. makes the focus all their about expressions. their expressions. Yes. I, I could do with a tighter crop too. Like we've got the ceiling fan in here mm -hmm. and... Yeah. I mean, I might have to change the aspect ratio. Yeah, but... you could do a 4 by 3 aspect yeah. ratio. It's like an 8 by 10. Yeah, that's another important aspect of wedding photography is planning for that 8 by 10 print, which is a pain. Yeah. It's cropping that's an inch so off of better. each side. With that that's top part cropped yeah. off. Yeah. I'm giving that one a pick. I like I it. Love Post, that. I love that too. Post-processing. I don't even know that this is going on at a well, wedding. Well, I see the, the bride. Yeah, uh, but I had to look I, really hard. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah. So I think we actually needed more depth of field here. <laughs> this kid I, ran away. It's a cute picture. It's just <laughs> as an outside viewer, there was no context to it. Yeah. The story didn't work for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe just a uh, wider depth of field. Yeah. 
Yeah, shoot it like F11 or yeah. F16, whatever you need. Nice picture. But yeah, I think the storytelling is really interesting. If we saw the side of his face too, like see him looking out. Yeah, a little bit yeah. of his Draw the eye yep. towards the distant part. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. This is cute. Yeah, I like that. I wish we could see all the little boys, uh, the one in the back with his hands up. Because I guess my, my the first story I, I tell myself when I see this is he's like, oh, kissing. Uh, yeah, I don't that's know what, what I was to do about too. kissing. Like, oh, boy. Um, and, always with the kissing. And the other, the other little boy's got kind of just a bashful look. So this is a cute moment. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish we could see a little bit more of that that's boy's cute. hand, but uh, that's minor. I think this is one of those pictures that the bride and groom would really love. Yeah. Because yeah. it just shows their the Such kid's a personality. Moment, yeah. 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 And then capture in a moment that they probably might not have been aware of, which of is always fun to do. Maybe They're shoot a little wider. Lips. Like I wish we could have the top of their heads in there. Yeah. 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 Wow. Ooh, fancy. Holy this is really, yeah. Is I'm giving that one to pick. It just struck me. I think yeah. that's a Rolls Royce. It's, wow. it's clearly not a, what I would call a wedding shot, right? It's very editorial. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you call that hairstyle? Is that an updo? I'm, we're all speechless. <laughs> we don't know what to at, call at my, <laughs> at my, at my a questioning. Bouffant, a bouffant. Oh, yeah. Thank Shmanu. you, Siobhan. Yeah. Um, and who wears a mask to their wedding? Mm. Like, mm. presumably you're the bride, bride and you're in a wedding. Like, people are going to know who you are, right? You're going to conceal your identity. Maybe she was robbing a bank or something. <laughs> Pop back in her roles. This, look, this looks very European. I so, you know, a pick. Maybe they do really? different things over there. Yeah, <laughs> you, don't think it's, you don't think it's European? I don't know. We got marble columns, the Rolls Royce. Yeah, you can't find that here. Mask, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's brighten this up. I, I that was my first thought. Like just, just right. wild and exposed. Green. It's right. is green. I imagine that camera is white. So let's get there. Yeah. So custom white balance yeah. off of that. Now it needs to be warmed up. Oh, oh now you want a warmer? Better. Yeah, I think so. Just. Whoa. Just you guys have a keyboard and mouse there too, if you feel like. Oh wait, oh, go over can I do this? Can we? Oh yeah, oh, it's no, the I other. Oops. It's okay. The left one is for for ex temperature, and the right one is for exposure. Oh. Try not that palette gear. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it palette fun. gear. The verdict is in quickly. <laughs> That's great. Yep. I think I. Nelson oh, yeah. and this, this reminds me a little bit of uh, how many cooks in the kitchen because we got one picture that four people are, are able to work on at once. Yeah, that's got to be I rough like for it. people. Thank you for <laughs> having the guts to send it in to have yeah. four people yeah. scrutinize it. I know, it. this is right. tough. It's hard. So I wish it were framed a little left. I hate that the cup is barely cut off. Yeah. There. But I think that, it's overall a good picture. Yep. Do you find that you become desensitized? Because I sometimes forget there are people behind the pictures. Yeah. And then sometimes people will express that they're hurt. And I'm well, like, oh, I never wanted no, to do that. I try. I, I feel like I try. When we do our critiques, I try to be very conscious of that. And, and I almost feel like sometimes we, we give like we're too nice i do i feel i i want to be a people pleaser so i'm often yeah. trying to couch things in very nice terms and sometimes i want to say it's just not really good but at the same time sometimes when i'm out shooting i'll shoot something and i'll look at it and i'll go oh, i would have said like shoot that to the left and then but there's like a big cement pylon to the left right. or something yeah. So, yeah. so we try to I keep that think, in mind yeah we try to keep you know that you know they were working in some kind of constraints in a lot of cases yeah, yeah. and yeah you're always trying to move people forward and sometimes right. you know they need constructive criticism of what they can do different but also people need a lot of encouragement mm -hmm. to continue to learn and any sort of discouragement can make people just throw in the towel. I know so many people who started into photography and then just felt like they weren't good at it and that's yeah. not true of anybody it's just they didn't get that everybody who is a photographer pretty much had that like one picture that you were taking early on that just turned out great yeah. and it was probably pure luck but you thought somehow that it was like from inside of you that you right. had this natural <laughs> talent for it. Anyway, so right. you have to kind of sometimes make people feel like they had that. Yeah. But the truth is, it's mostly just work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I definitely agree. And I don't, that, I think that's my biggest fear is discouraging somebody who might just be getting started. Mm -hmm. I don't, I would never want to do that. Um, but I also feel like being tough on people, if you can take it, it'll help you become a really good photographer. Yeah. So I think that. I've noticed that with our groups that the people that can take some criticism and still take pictures and still accept it, they grow so much faster than yeah. the people that shut down and refuse to accept that there's room to grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really healthy attitude to take that you will 
always have room to grow no matter how good you are. Yeah. And yeah. The, I heard somebody give some really great advice once. And it was that whenever you get criticism, you can do one of two things. You can either take it and improve upon it or just reject it completely and keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you always have that choice. You can either take the criticism and then help it, uh, use it to help you become a better photographer in this case, or you could just whatever. I mean, who are we to say? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what yeah. looks good or not, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Um, well, maybe we should toss it back to Siobhan and see if there are any questions, any, especially any questions for, for Toby and Christina. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> Question for Christina. Do you advise your bridal party to tell guests to shut off their phones or cameras for the ceremony and family shots? Whoa, this is a, uh... That's a loaded question, I feel like. <laughs> we've, we've talked we, about this quite a bit. Yeah, we talked about this recently. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't really, I could just leave it up to them. I My preference is that people put away their phones at least during the processional and the, recep the recessional, and maybe even during the entire <laughs> ceremony. I've just, there have been so many situations when we've been taking, we've, we're taking pictures of something that's happening and then we want to get the reaction of the guests. Like sometimes parents and like, you know, Great close parents. relatives and they're like staring at their phone. Um, so it's not, you know, some people have the argument that, you know, we should be able, as photographers, we need to just make the best out of any situation and sort of work around distractions like that. And it's not really about that. It's more about encouraging guests to be in the moment with the bride and groom because this is a big moment for them and that's mm -hmm. why they have them there so um so yeah i mean i think i think if you approach it from that perspective and that's and that's what you tell your clients then i think it it would come across as you Hopefully. know less about the photographer right. and more about the bride and groom right because yeah certain photographers can certainly make it about like i don't want to see anybody's arms sticking out into the aisle right. and that's with certainly stuff. annoying and that happens too but after we discussed this on our show a couple weeks ago we had somebody write in that said you know i did i i think it was a grandparent i missed the moment uh because i was fiddling with my camera and i think our audience is even a little bit more susceptible to that of like I know what I'm doing as a photographer. I want to capture this too, right. either because the photographer might suck or just because I want my own pictures. Yeah. And then you miss that moment of your your daughter, your granddaughter. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's. I always bring my iPad and I sit right in the aisle. <laughs> and then as the bride's walking down, I lean way out into the aisle and I hold my I, iPad I, up. You know, so and I think you've come to a couple, yeah. a couple of our <laughs> weddings. <laughs> um, oh, I missed, that guy. I missed uh, the important <laughs> shot of the bride and her father because someone leaned all the way out into the aisle with mm. an entire iPad. Yeah, yeah. yeah not the mini, like no. the full the iPad. Full oh. iPad. Well, now that, that. The, now that and the iPad Pro is out, do you think? I mean, it was my yeah. friend, so she understood because I did it for free. Yeah. But she asked me, do you have any pictures of my dad and me? And I'm like, oh, one, it's yeah. got a huge right. iPad right. in it. Every <laughs> single one had a huge iPad blocking them. I'm like, yeah. oh, sorry. God. iPads, man. People do it at concerts, too. They bring an iPad to the concert, yeah. hold it up. Yeah. It's like, who would bring something the size I of a know. poster and hold it up Just at a concert? Just be there. Just be present. That's, that's right. what I say. Uh, but it's also helpful to have two photographers. I don't know if in that situation you were working with somebody else. But yeah, Tony, one to kick the iPad? Would <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it be hilarious? One to, one to elbow like, them. Oh, like send it flying. Yeah, you just bring a low caliber gun, like a twenty two or something. You don't want to kill them. But you shoot it out of their hand. Try to shoot it. Stop being so American. <laughs> <laughs> Guns solve all problems, Shells. I think we've... Yeah. Right. We answered the hell out of that question. Let's take a look yeah. at a few more pictures. <laughs> Rush and Jessica. Uh, this guy's Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, isn't that Scottish? So. Scottish. Scottish. I just wanted to annoy all <laughs> Scottish people. <laughs> no. I get super upset when you. <laughs> That's evil. You are evil. I, and apparently you're Scottish because it annoyed you. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Why is the name on there? I don't. I mean, I guess it's not really that big a deal. But. No. It, it no. seemed a little funny to me too. I, I think the exposure is pretty good. It, the, the white dresses and usually black tuxedos is just a really hard thing to expose mm -hmm. properly. Yeah. Uh, shooting raw definitely helps, but I, I, you know, the dress is bright, but I don't feel like it's overexposed. Um, the greens feel a little. The greens, yeah, the greens are a little yeah. neon on it, on the grass in particular. Yeah. And I think you, you could have backed up and zoomed in a little bit more. I see you shooting with a lovely 24 to 70, great versatile lens, but you're shooting around uh, just under 50. And so a couple steps back and zooming Zoom in, in to compress yeah. 
uh, you know, could have highlighted because a this all a looks bit more. very in focus. Yeah, yeah, and it's distracting. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can yeah. see how light they could have opened it up some too. Nice but pose nice. and nice expression. Yep. Yeah, and I like the way they're nice dressed. Nice kilt. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Oh. He okay. This is nice light and a nice expression, but I think he's smooth. Yeah. Very smooth. I thought the exact same thing. You gotta be careful with processing guys' skin. At least... Well, you don't... And... Yeah. He could just have flawless skin, Chelsea. Maybe he's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say it's also really shallow depth of field. It's it's 50 F1.8 at, mm -hmm. uh, at almost headshot range, so maybe everything Yeah, else. but you can tell the clarity has been... Yeah. You're right, or, yeah. Like, we all thought the same was, thing yeah. as soon as we saw the pictures. Yeah. Like, too much smoothing on the skin. Just tone it down. Yeah. Oh, wow, that looks mm -hmm. way better. Maybe take the clarity out Oh, you up the clarity back, some, yeah, yeah to yeah. just yeah. increase the contrast in the skin. Yeah. I like that much better than... Mm -hmm. But, uh, sorry we got stuck on that. Wait. I think, processing aside, I think it ends up looking like a pretty good picture. Yeah. Yeah. The catch lights are interesting. Oh, yeah, it looks yeah. like he's looking into a door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Cool. Hmm. Interesting crop on it. It's definitely... Uh, an eye-catching picture. Yeah. It's weird to have her eyes so close to the top, though, and yeah. then have this negative space below. Yeah. I feel like there's a story there I don't know about. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a unique pose. It's an it's and, an interesting picture. Yeah. Oh, sorry, trying to go on the next picture. This is nice. Uh, I like we 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 can see her we can see her eye her expression, um, so I really like that. And she's got a little bit of room above her head. It's good. Nice background framed. blur. Yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe um, like brighten it up a little and maybe warm it up a little. See the blues and the whites. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I was trying to figure out exactly what to do here. Well, I think well we could something similar to what we did to that picture while you guys were doing the audio, you didn't see that. Um, we can just brush on a temperature adjustment over the blue parts of the dress, and I think that that will make it a lot less distracting. Because I think the skin tones look good, the the overall ambient white balance looks good. It's just the dress that's really throwing. I'll yeah, I, I think it's a good picture. I was just trying to figure out what it is that it needs, because I feel like it's almost there, it just needs that one thing, and I'm not sure. Warming it up definitely helped a little. I'll say that, you know, this is similar to what I was just talking about with the 24 to 70, except you're doing exactly what I'd want. You were shooting with a 70 to 200. You went all the way to 200. Uh, and so even at F5, we got nice background blur. Uh, and I think the framing is great. So I imagine you were standing quite a distance away. And that's fine. You got a great picture. Hmm. You trying to warm up just those blues, the, the yeah. whites? Which are definitely in a state of blue. Yeah, as you warm that up, it helps. Yeah, I, think, I think there's a little too much tint. So I'm gonna just reset that, and then I might just do a new temperature adjustment. So this is the kind of thing that sort of like it's the biggest time suck when editing a, a wedding it's like this these little details yeah these little things yeah that's a big part of wedding photography is getting it right in camera just to save yourself time mm -hmm. even stuff you could fix it's just you can spend so many hours in post-processing oh yeah her hand is blue and you know we've been talking a little bit about sony and canon you know off camera today and what, yeah. you know sony's now uncompressed raw files 90 megabytes a piece <sighs> And Christina says, you are not shooting those at any wedding. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I have experienced that with the 5DSR, yeah. too. Like, I love it's the images, but when you get to processing, it just slows you down so much. And Lightroom is so slow. Yep. There's no computer that makes it, yep. makes editing 50 megapixel pictures fast. Yeah. So this is kind of sloppy, but because this is very, very warm. But you kind of get the idea. You can do localized adjustments and sort of balance out the the blues and the yeah nice. okay well let's jump over and take a look at our poll okay. see who won mm -hmm. all right this is what we're calling it oh exciting. i'm excited yes. we're asking to let people know who took each of the shots yes, or they yes, have to yes. tune into the show okay oh <laughs> should we make them tune in i don't know no we should we can't leave them hanging like leave them hanging too long <laughs> it's gonna take like a month 
You know, sitcoms have those. Oh. Uh, wow. All right, wow. 60, 40. We were number Picture two. Picture one. In every way. You are number yeah. two. For those just tuning in, Toby and I teamed up to make this picture today. Two hours, 25 bucks, and a $150 camera. And that's what we came up with, with a messed up cheeseburger from food <laughs> from Five Guys. <laughs> oh my God, the cheese was all smashed up. It was yeah, so it was, hard to make this, this thing this look took, easy. Uh, this was there some tender love and care that we took uh, to try to fix that. Christina and Chelsea teamed up to make this picture. And if I can provide criticism, not that you asked for it, it's the ketchup. We That's the only thing that, that throws yeah. me off is the ketchup. We had pictures because we transferred the burger after our first set of photos. Mm -hmm. And once we transferred it with the ketchup, we should have known better. Yeah. But your burger overall looks so much better than ours. Did. You had some... Yeah. Our drink is like your, off the hook. It's your so drink yeah. is awesome. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to tell people where this was shot? Yeah, this, sure. And and what? How much fancy, expensive lighting you used to shoot this? Okay, so this one's actually in the kitchen. Ah, uh, it was transferred into the kitchen. the kitchen, but yep. the originals were taken in the trunk of our car, and they, <laughs> they look good. great. Yeah. yeah, they really did. I'm I impressed. think we should have used the ones. We the out. I think car. so too. Dang it! Dang it! Maybe we'll use them for the video. Yeah, maybe. Tony, virtual high five from far for our win. You don't nice. have to do a virtual nice high five. You're in the same place. Well, we just, I didn't want to reach in front of it. We don't like touching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We take, men. We take men's Congrats pictures, me. but we don't touch. <laughs> uh, well, toss it back to Siobhan and see if we have any uh, other questions. For the record, I voted for picture two. Mm. Oh, thanks, Siobhan. Thanks. Gotta just throw that out there, a little, just a little jab at the winners. Yeah. Just don't feel too vote, good you about yourself, Tony. You don't need any more boost, okay? <laughs> All right, I have questions. People keep directing these to you, Christina, even though I think all of you shoot weddings. <laughs> um, what she kind of lighting knows. and or flashes do you use for weddings, indoor and outdoor? Um, so I try to use as much available and ambient light as possible, um, but with that in mind, I also make sure that I have a good understanding of how to use artificial light if I, if I need to. So when I'm outside, I just try to pick places that have a lot of directional light and um, just really nice, simple, clean light. Um, when During the reception and when I am really only during the reception because if I'm inside and it's still bright out I will pick I will move my subjects closer to a window or to a room that has really good light and try to take advantage of that I mean I don't think you can recreate it's really difficult to recreate available light and my main goal uh, is to sort of give my clients a body of work that sort of puts them back where they were so I don't want to alter it with any kind of artificial light then during the reception, we do have two speed lights off camera as well as onboard speed lights. And we do a uh, combination. So we try to mix and match that and then match the ambient light as well so that there's no weird like blue lights coming from the flash. And this, the usually the receptions will be very warmly lit because there's tungsten light bulbs pretty much everywhere or, and or very dimly lit That's or very we, dimly we lit going, yeah. right recently though i've been you know when we've kind of i've shot with the a7r2 which mm -hmm. has really great uh low light capabilities and i've really enjoyed the pictures that were just taken in the ambient light during the reception i feel like i used to be really picky about um like having really yellow pictures during the reception but now i feel like that's kind of what it looked like so i try to recreate that as much as possible mm -hmm. so yeah so i do a combination but mostly i try to use the available light as much as yeah. possible and those reception pictures we just modify with gels no uh, soft boxes or umbrellas yeah keep it simple like you just bounce off camera lights at the ceiling to kind of fill the room up or yeah we bounce we bounce the off camera lights and then we have two ca two speed light set um, off to the side of the room on either side usually and we'll move them around and they're gelled to tungsten to match the ambient light and dialed sometimes way dialed way down and then zoomed in so we can get a little bit of a softer light and sometimes we can get a really nice like side light um, sort of look too. Wow. Yeah that, that's the best trick because it can also be really cheap because you could even use a, a flash with just an optical slate. We're talking about like a $30 yeah. flash you can get yeah. and just yeah. stick it off in the corner of the room and just point it at the ceiling 
and it will just automatically fire whenever you're on camera fi flash fires and just fill the room with more light because those receptions could be so dark. Yeah. You and you end up shooting at like ISO 3200 and nobody's pictures are going to look good. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they, we've been at receptions recently where it's been dim and then they dim the lights even more yeah. because I guess people don't really like to dance when it's really bright. Yeah, it yeah. just makes things awkward. So right. It's all about the open bar and the lighting. You yeah. know, it depends on whether or not how many people Lots are on the booze, dance floor. Lots of not a lot of light. Yeah. 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 Sounds like a winning combination. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Except for the photographers. Yeah. I want to ask you guys for hilarious wedding stories, but it occurs to me there's probably some sort of like client confidentiality. Is you there know, a story you can tell? That's probably the humiliating most, yourself the or most your client? popular question we get. We get that question a lot, and we don't really have any crazy wedding stories. We're pretty lucky to work with really laid back we had, we, couples. Yeah, we have. We've had fantastic couples, almost all of them. We did have the wedding where we were staying for the sparkler exit, um, well, we had two, two quick stories. One, staying for the sparkler exit, a very helpful mm -hmm. brother oh, of the bride right. yeah, this uh, is wanted to be in charge of doing all of the sparklers, and they got the big, long, fancy ones that are serious, and he lit them as a bunch in, in an outdoor ones. fireplace. And that Exploded. PSA uh, is not how <laughs> you should light sparklers, apparently. <laughs> they just burned up instantly, um, and it's kind of funny, and then he got burned, so it was, yeah, wasn't, it wasn't very funny. Very funny. Um, so that was like a crazy story. But then we had the other one where we were staying to the sparkler exit. So that meant we could take breaks. You were taking a break. I'm out on the dance floor just kind of getting shots because we've gotten a lot. And I don't know this story. Most of the dudes, yes, you do. Shots? The like dudes, no. Just shots. <laughs> okay. We get offered all the time, but it doesn't make for good pictures. No. It's just um, torture. It's like, you know I can't. <laughs> Why do you keep oh, they're trying to be me? Nice. Uh, guys started taking their shirts off. Like oh, a lot right. of them. So all of a sudden, to, most of the guys on the wedding. To a Madonna song. I don't remember which one. It was <laughs> yeah, like a thing. Yeah. 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 And, and then so they did it I was like, Christina, you gotta come out of here. All the guys aren't wearing the shirts. It's not very pretty. <laughs> 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 not very pretty. <laughs> I was really glad to show up to that. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Like, yeah, but uh, you know, in the big scheme of things, fairly mellow. We haven't had any crazy, crazy. Yeah, there were two weddings when they did that. The second sure wedding talk. you didn't see because you were taking a break in the car. So that, mm. you, yeah. And I didn't bother to bring it because I didn't no. think you would want to partake like, in it. I appreciate Tommy. that. <laughs> right. There's a bunch of shirtless dudes in here. Come on. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> you can't miss this. <laughs> Thank you. So this is Chit Chat, our segment where we read comments from people. Mm. Right. You get comments from people. Oh, yeah. Oh, people yeah, we get comments. Oh, yeah. Most oh, yeah. of them are fine. <laughs> Most of them are fine. These are yeah. the ones who are not fine. This one's fine. Oh First yeah, comment. yeah, it's lost. I write comment first. My life is ruined. I just this is the emotional roller coaster of the guy who writes first. You have that people want to be the first to comment on a video, and I don't know what happened so, between one minute and twenty three seconds. But something happened in that thirty seven well, seconds. Do you think he, do you think he refreshed the page and realized that he wasn't actually the first commenter? Uh, I think maybe. Lost, yeah, right it's comment. lost. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was cute. My life, My life is ruined. ruined. My life is ruined. This yeah. is great. Thank you for that. Well, entertainment. Oliver, if that, well, I don't know. I don't want to go there. Just I like. I like <laughs> this one. I found this one. Who told this guy he can present medium format camera? He is suitable for silk fabrics and silicon wi wigs, <laughs> and maybe for Barbie dolls for adults. More concentrate on his look than camera. Doll, doll. You wow. call them dull doll. What is a silicon wig? Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know what a silicon wig is either. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what a silicon wig is? No, no is that I a real either. thing? <laughs> no. I'm oh, okay. kidding. I, have no idea. I was so excited to I learn like, about it. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I like that you're suitable for silk fabrics. <laughs> that sounds like the That's highest fancy. compliment. Yes. Yeah. He's suitable for silk. Dull fabrics. doll. Dull wow. doll. Thanks, Frank. How, what's this one? Oh, I felt so bad. We went on Matt Granger's show. Yeah. And there was a delay. And I think, well, we're friends. We text all the time. We joke all the time. We yeah, we Skyped in and it's around the world. So light has to travel the the cir circumference Hello? of the earth. We're limited by the speed of light. Which is big. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a little delay. I'm referring to the banter because he said it was awkward. Matt seemed to struggle to keep the conversation going and his humor bordered insulting and abusive toward Chelsea at times. I love Matt's normal videos and respect his opinion. I just think he needs more practice at interview, blah, blah, blah. But I just wanted to clear up. He wasn't being abusive any more than we are abusive to each other every day. We often just... Oh, you were nowhere near your regular levels of, levels no. of abuse. I've seen your text messages. You we... say awful <laughs> things to each other. Yeah. Awful things. Uh, they wouldn't even allow so speech, on YouTube. <laughs> We just love it's hate to, speech. We it's it's a loving <laughs> banter and we like to poke each other and joke and it's 
all in good fun, and, and he, he was being very sweet. Right. And Matt's Australian, too, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they yeah. have a very sarcastic yes, sense of humor. Yes, that's right. I, I roomed with an Australian on the uh, Iceland travel, and um, very sarcastic is putting it very politely. Yeah. Yes. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I like how comfortable they are with words that we consider untouchable. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. They will just toss them out there. You're like, wow, you can't just say that to the waitress. <laughs> 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 Everything's weird now. <laughs> It delights me to have someone more inappropriate than me for once. I'm like, Australians, I love them. <laughs> well, let's take a look at a few more pictures. I think this picture's... The light is just, beautiful. Yeah, it's heavenly. I think it's just neat. gorgeous. Oh, this, yep. yeah. oh, yeah, and the this crop foot. is a little uncomfortable. Always check the edges of the frame. Yeah. But I'm giving it a pick anyway, because it's just a beautiful spot. So, and the yeah. pose works great. The backlighting through the dress really nice. And that yeah. branch is... Yes. This is cool. The dress seems a little yellow to me. It might be because there's a lot of greenery. Could it be a beige dress too? Yeah, it's probably. It could be a beige dress. Yeah. I thought it was beige. Okay, it's great. Beige, peach, peach. Um, so right away it feels like on camera flash to me. Yeah. And you just get a certain look from that. Is this? We were just talking about bouncing the flash, and bouncing the flash would have just made this completely different. What's in the background? Well, that's another. They have the sheer back there, and I think if it had been bounce flash, it wouldn't have reflected. But direct camera flash will just see through some fabrics. And I think that's what's happening that there. Be a real problem. Uh, so great pose. They look very natural, uh, but the bounce flash yeah. would have helped, I think. And again, they're at 24 to 105. They were shooting at 24 f4. If you back up, zoom in, you can get a little bit more of that depth of field. That might have been a struggle with the flash as well, but um, that's how you can get a shallower depth of field with even an f4 lens. That was an impressive W. It was. Yeah. Very flowery. <laughs> what's happening here? Uh, I think they're all enjoying uh, Yeah, I, I immediately was fascinated with just the lines of their arms, and I mm -hmm. guess yeah. that was the subject of the picture for me. It's nice. I think they're it's nicely sweet. framed. Yeah. 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 Yep. We can see some of the band members behind them. Good. Mm. Try to get through as is many pictures as we can. I don't know. I think this is a ruse. Maybe that's <laughs> left over from last week's car photography pictures. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> or maybe that's a, a wedding dress a cool in car. culture that I don't oh, know about. Oh, maybe. Oh. Hmm. Is that Interesting. fake? I don't know. No, I don't think it's fake because you can see the um, her hair is catching some of that light behind. Oh yeah. Behind yeah. them. Oh, yeah. it's just a, is that a flash? I think it's a flash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And plus the file name. <laughs> Shot into a flash. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, I uh, never checked the file Sherlock name. Sherlock Tony. Dead giveaway. Oh. Uh, okay, I think it's. It, it definitely adds a focal point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, we all immediately discussed it. Like, that's all I noticed yeah. is this yeah. big flash in the middle, and, and it overpowers the expression and relationship yeah. between the couple to me. Right. But it's different. Yeah. If yeah. that light had been hidden just behind them, we'd get that nice rim yeah. that yeah. really separates them from the background, but we wouldn't be distracted by mm. the spot. Good point. Yeah. So. Yeah. Or if it were higher or something, it might pass for the sun. Yeah. A little bit off camera, but... Ooh, I like that. Me too. Yeah, I, I like the expression a lot. I'm yeah. giving that one a pick right away. That's great. Very nice. No feedback. Yeah, okay, we just Same all agree. Way. Didn't yeah. need anything. I like that too. Very Me nice too. as well. Um, the getting ready shots. Getting mm -hmm. ready. Those can be tough, right? I like right? the clock on the top yeah, left. That's, that's a really nice, nice touch. Yeah. Nice clock. I'd clone out that little bit of flower that's dropped down. That oh, might be a tissue. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I think but it's, it's a tissue. It's minor, but, uh, you know, get rid of Joe that. Baker. It, should, it should disappear quickly. Perfect. So if you're a, a photojournalist, you don't do cloning and stuff. Right. But as a wedding photographer, even in, during candid moments, you feel comfortable just removing Absolutely. things like that? Uh, and, and I think this is one of the things that, um, Christina, you do really well, I'm getting better at, is, you know, I call it pre-shopping. Check the scene and take a moment and reach in there and swipe it out and say, well, you just, you know, yeah. look at yourself for a minute longer in the mirror. People yeah. usually don't mind looking at themselves for a yeah. minute longer in the mirror. Uh, and, and then you don't have to do it later. Yeah. But, yeah, we have no problem fixing things like that. I, I think that's a skill that you develop after years of practice because the first few times you're out, you're thinking about your camera settings yes. and stuff. And then with more experience, you start to think about the lighting. But eventually you get so comfortable with that that you can think about, oh, somebody's hair is awkward. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Or yeah. this, this thing is untied and hanging from the dress. I can fix that. But the first few times you shoot, you don't even notice that stuff. It takes so long yeah. to get to the point where your brain can yep. even see that kind of thing. Yeah. It's like driving, you know, driving a manual transmission car where at first you have to really think about your clutch and your stuff, but it, eventually that becomes very natural and Second you can, nature. you know, be thinking about other things as you're shifting and driving down the road. 
Ah, oh, this is another nice moment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I would like to see them framed a little bit more in that open space to the right yeah. where they're intersecting that trunk there. Or in the lower left corner. Or the lower left, yeah. Yeah. I, but, I um, like their pose. But yeah. I think, yeah, the exposure the here environment. is lovely in the environment. I, I think the vignette is too heavy for me. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think, uh, you know, one of the, I think, most popular photos uh, that I've seen couples like um, are pictures where they're walking, either walking towards the camera and not looking at the camera and walking away from the camera and not looking at the camera. This is like one of the most popular photos. Yeah, I'll agree. I think people couples. are always a little uncomfortable about their own faces. Yeah. I think other people like it, but oh, that oh, this is, nice. everybody else this sees their face and starts to analyze aspects of it, I think. I imagine. I don't know. This is like really cool clamshell lighting on them, or just very directional. It's a nice photo. Lighting. Yeah, I, nice. I, this yeah. this is a very really nice colorful picture. Bouquet, and, too. I'd almost yeah. like to see a little bit more of it, or just see just the top, but or a little bit less of it. Uh, it's one of those... They must. I don't even know how, when did they get this shot That's during the ceremony. Say, yeah. They clearly like put them there, but everybody is there. Time to do that. <laughs> yeah, because usually That's they're amazing. up and then they're walking away, right. but they somehow stopped them in the middle of the ceremony and said, "Pose, you guys." <laughs> I like it a lot. It, it turned yeah, out really nice. Too. It's a nice shot. I just I've never seen that in the flow of a wedding, but uh, I'm giving them one pick. Mm -hmm. Nice. Somehow you got that done. Hey, I recognize this. I think. Have you yeah, really? that's, oh, oh, we know Scott. Scott. Yeah. Oh, do you? Scott. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's not like a ceremony that I've seen before with people seated. Yeah. Um, He's English. They do things different over there. <laughs> <laughs> so the first, that I think the only issue I have with this picture is just that um, there's a lot of barrel distortion. And so the columns and the part above the columns in the very center of the photo, like right here, they're all coming together in kind of a sort of circular shape. Mm. I don't like that distortion. I would just correct that and yeah. then crop a little bit. That's the only mm -hmm. feedback. Otherwise, yep. I think it's a great picture. Yep. Huh. A long Ooh. exposure, a third of a second. Mm. The white balance is bugging me. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about the action though? Mm. They definitely did it deliberately. They're at F20. Yeah. But ISO 6400? Oh, yeah, why would they be at F20 mm. and ISO 6400? I don't know. Here's the, here's the thing I don't, um, I think doesn't work super well with this image. It's not so much the white balance. I think it's that we don't really know what, quite what's happening. So I don't think that, that the context and the technique really work well together. So if she was like maybe throwing the bouquet, or like looking or walking or something and it was shot in motion like that, maybe it would work a little bit better. I think, yeah. I honestly don't mind the white balance um, and the colors, um, but I just think of the content and, or the context. And the, yeah, there's not mm -hmm. much story to it no. really. I'm not, I'm not daring enough to try long exposures during ceremony. It looks like, you know, that's like around the ceremony yeah. time or something like that. That's right. I'm on the and dance floor sometimes. But. Yeah, that's the thing as a wedding photographer. You really can't miss shots. And if you can't no. be doing your own personal project in oh, the middle no. of the ceremony. No. You just don't have the time off. Yeah. I love their expression. Yeah. yeah, I do too. It's really nice. Yeah, I think She's that one turned out nice. The way he's looking at her. It's great. We could, uh, I, I was going to say we would bring it in to get rid of that arm on the yeah. left there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that is like... Probably we're gonna, we're one of my biggest to pet peeves her hand off. at a wedding, when I shoot a wedding and I look back at the ceremony pictures, the bridal party is always, it's like they're just like a little bit in. They're not like all, all the way, way there in. Or they're all away. Yes. They're never in the right spot. Oh, I'm very selfish. Her, wait, her wrists. You chopped her uh, wrist. I know. I couldn't yeah, find a good spot a because his wrists yeah. and. Yeah. Yeah. That dang huh. bridal party. Oh, that's cute. I think that's that a great really shot. Cute. I love that. Yeah. That yep. would actually work as stock, I think. They, yeah. <laughs> it's it's right. a weird setting. It looks like a national bank or something. Oh, yeah. City Hall. Okay. City, yeah. That's cool. Cool. Okay, we'll take a look at a couple more pictures, then we'll toss it back to Siobhan to see if there are any questions, and then we're running late, so we'll have to head out of here. Um, I think I'd like to see some whites in here. Let me see. Yeah, we got to brighten that up a little bit. Uh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. 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 It's got a nice expression. Huh. Sort of a candid shot yeah. of the Woodward wedding. Yeah. There's I, a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. There's For like me, reflections just, of the glass here. I just see that 
her back. Yeah. That's like the focal point in it. Yeah. yeah. Because there's so much else going on, you can't, that's the only thing you can focus on because yeah. it's just one and piece of something. And she's much brighter than everything yeah. else, yeah. too. It stands out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's not a wedding shot. No. Ooh. So uh, this is this is similar to the other shot that, that we've used. Somebody's used the flash in the background to give them, or a LED light, or some light source to give them that yeah. rim light. Um, or just using the fountain light. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I I like it. I think it's nice. Yeah, I like it too. It's clever. I I, I didn't hate you raising the shadows to so just provide just a little, a little hint of it. I understand that's not what they were going for. I thought it worked yeah. at first too, but yeah. a little Great bit of lights on the left are a little distracting. But you could work Ooh, on getting rid of those. That's beautiful. That's a nice shot. That's amazing. Yeah, I give that one a pick. That's, oh yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. There's nothing to do for that. Nope. Let me just. Okay, we've we've almost got. Let's go ahead and just wrap these up real quick. Whoa! Another flash from behind. Yeah. It's still the most prominent thing that I see, but I, I think yeah. the shot itself is beautiful. It's Ivo. Yeah, it's Ivo. I need that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Do you know, was it actually raining or is that in post? I don't know. Uh, I guess the flash would be necessary to really show the rain because yeah. without the flash, yeah. the rain just wouldn't have shown up. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. Great job, Bobo. Nice detail. Yeah. You want to get that like wedding ring as a key part of it, but it can be tough because hands up close tend not to look that good. Yeah, it looks a bit But I think smooth. this one turned out really nice. Yeah. Do you guys have any tricks for getting a shot of a ring on a hand and not making monster hands we, we usually we don't, we don't we usually take, take the those. rings off <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 that's kind of why i was surprised to see. i love this I love picture this too picture. the I light do, just kind of pouring through really really nice. great eye on that yeah, yeah. I, really nice. I imagine it's a pose shot and uh, yeah. i think you nail it i gave yeah. that yeah. one like a that. feature to it um there's oh. a lot going on here yeah the background the background is busy it needs to be no. deep and decrease the contrast that's very nice there's some really nice light on her yeah beautiful I don't know. Okay. So this is like the pre-show. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you you want to show it's if you're making like a though. photo book. Sometimes you show the decorations that they yeah. have as mm -hmm. part of it. So it might be yeah. a key part of the storytelling. I would close in on the hands and like sort of not include the like the tissue and the some box. of the plastic yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. If you're the photographer being paid to do this, take the time to take them out of the plastic, yeah. line them up someplace nice. Uh, yeah, you know, that. fun every wedding. The dudes never know how to put the boutonnieres on. Mm -hmm. and it's always fun to kind of watch them struggle. Yeah. <laughs> they try to be a little helpful, but you know, it gives me more time to take pictures. So we wrap that up. Let's toss it back to Siobhan. Do you have any uh, questions for us before we head out? Sure. She does. <laughs> I have lots. I'm going to have to pare it down. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. How much coaching do you incorporate into your whole wedding shoot? Do you discuss poses before the wedding, or is it all on location and in the moment? Do you well, I'll talk about for one of the things that we love doing with all of our uh, couples is an engagement session first, where we get to know them. Um, and it's not just so that we can, you know, take pictures of them. It's so we can get to know them, and they can get to know our style, and you know, coach them through some poses in that case. And for the most part, um, I mean, you can talk, take over and talk about this. Not heavily posed. But let them kind of be natural in the moment and then maybe adjust a little bit to make sure that it's maximally photogenic. Yeah, I so I think it's all, like I was saying earlier, you know, all about preparation. So from the moment that somebody calls me, I tell them I'm very involved with posing and coaching and I'm going to give you a lot of direction. And the good thing about that is because some people are like, I don't want to be posed. That's actually what everybody says. Everybody's like, I don't want to be posed. I'm like, well, the thing is, we pose a lot. And actually, that makes you feel really comfortable because you don't know what to do. So I tell them that from the start. And then when we do the uh, engagement session, then they sort of get an idea of, you know, what they can expect. And, um, and I do coach them a lot. A lot of it, though, is like just giving them things to do. Just like, so like walk this way, and then when you walk, you're gonna look this way, and then walk and kiss, and then we do a lot of repetition, and I do take a lot of pictures just to make yeah. sure that both of their eyes are open and to pick the right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think when people think pose pictures, they think like, oh, there's Napoleon. Like, right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, you know, those, no, no, nobody looks good like that. Yeah. So, okay. but I, th <laughs> I think the key. You pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> I think the key really is just, just, basically telling people 
that they're going to feel comfortable convincing them that you've got this. They don't have to worry about anything. You're going to make them look great. And then when they can relax and just be themselves in front of you, then you can get great pictures. Good solid advice. advice yeah. One more question before we head out, Siobhan. Sure. Um, ah, this is a good one for all of you. What were your jobs before becoming professional photographers? You want to start with Toby and go yeah, this way? Yeah, she cut out at the end, but I think it was basically what were your jobs before you became a yeah. driver? I was a teacher. I used to teach middle school and then high school computer science. So, yeah. And I was, I was inspired by my professors actually in college who had these awesome slide collections of earth sciencey stuff, like glacial varves and things like that. Mm -hmm. I was like, I want to take up photography so I can make my own collection of slides. People just realized I'm a little bit older than I look, maybe. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was shooting slide film. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's OK. Told you I was a wiggler. <laughs> um, I was a uh, junior technician at a small IT company that manufactured backup uh, solutions for company. So oh. that's what I did. Yeah. I was a piano teacher and a vet tech. So I took blood, assisted in surgery, that kind of thing. Yeah, good times. I, I was doing technical stuff too. Computer stuff, networking, hmm? making the internets work. <laughs> Sounds like you all have a computer background. Yeah, well, it, it's kind of selective, right? Because it's so technical just to be able to do the YouTube thing. Right. Like you don't necessarily have to be that technical to be a wedding photographer, but to get the shows live and all that definitely requires a certain yeah. technical mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I didn't do anything photography related. I like built backup servers. <laughs> what, what was I the did. company? It was called. It's called Ideal Store. They actually they still exist. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Thought maybe I would have run into you yeah. in a past life. <laughs> uh, well, I think we should wrap it up because it's six thirty. Mm. Wow. Mm. We ran a little late. late. We started we really started late. Very late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks again for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for having us. It was a blast. And guys, don't forget to today. check out Toby and Christina on Sweet. YouTube. Yeah, be sure to subscribe Thanks. because we're going to be publishing this awesome video that we recorded yeah. today. We have miles and miles of footage of us fun. running around and trying to I'm take good I'm pictures of hamburgers. I have to sort yeah. through all that. Yeah. Yeah. Good we good really should Justin. switch to digital. Digital at some point. <laughs> digital. Digital. Those tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Siobhan. Thank you, Siobhan. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. And we're here every Thursday at 5 o'clock next week. Food. Food. See you guys then. Thanks, Bye. Squarespace. Bye-bye. Oh. That is all. <laughs>